Coming up next here on Ghana Tonight, we stay in the election conversation manifesto check tonight. We returned to the Navromgo Youth Resource Center, one of the many stored multipurpose projects across the country. And we'll tell you what's happening there after the promise by the flag of the MPP. Stay with us. Welcome back. This is Ghana Tonight. We remain your election command center. And let's settle now, now for manifesto check. On manifesto check tonight, Dennis Poberi Wadam Esquire is here. Now, there's this, we had this conversation a few months ago. Yes, we right? have. We have. Uh, where is this? Uh, we what spent are you so much at? time. This is Navrungu. I'm taking you home tonight. This is my hometown. I uh, see. Yes, yeah, so we have been here before. We've kept our eyes on this. We're hoping that maybe things would get better, but it doesn't look like anything is happening ever since we visited this particular place. Upon all the promises that have been made. This is the Navrongo Youth Resource Center. Resource Center. Yes, yeah, simply they call it the Navrongo Stadium. This it's is one a stadium. That is yeah. It's dear to the hearts of the people, especially the young people. They are looking forward to seeing this up and running so that they could use it for a number of things. It's actually a multi purpose project. So so what? <laughs> This, this yeah, so those the, are the seats. The seats in the stadium. Yes. Has it ever been used? Um, yes, once upon a time it was used, but not in this form. So it was supposed to be a facelift, giving it, making it a standard multi-purpose um, facility that could be used for football, for athletics, and so this the the kind, track. and even events. Yes. It started off shipping up well, but for some reason, contractors left side. So many stories around the situation. I but see. to recall when the vice president visited somewhere in July, he had cause to be, I mean, he was confronted with this particular project as one of the things that matter to the people. Mm. And he categorically told the Navarro Pio, there the NPPPC was also there. He said he had, um, the finance minister had instructed that some letters be written and that contractor was going to return to sites very soon. And that this hopefully will be completed before December 7. That's 44 days away? Yes. So They're going to complete this? Yes, before, before December 7th. Well, magic happens. When our, so. our colleagues on the New Day went to the area to do community manifesto, it was one of the issues that came up very strongly. Let's take a listen to that brief interaction when the, the MPP PC was confronted with the status of this particular project on community manifesto that we get back to the conversation. Super. Let's answer their questions now. The first question was on a youth resource center. Can you, can you speak to that? Hello. I, I said emphatically that I am going to do my last rally at the youth resource center. And my last rally is going to be on the 5th of December. And I still say that on the 5th of December, I am going to do my last rally in the youth resource what, what? Please, 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 please. Please. The 5th of December is just about four to five weeks away. What's the current state of the youth resource center? 5th of December is just about five weeks away. What's the current state of the Youth Resource Center? Uh, the Youth Resource Center has, is in phases. The phase one is 90% complete. And yes, it is 90% complete. And that phase one will be completed before we go for the election. So the phase one so is what? Is it the foundation even, even, or even what? Within, even within even within three, four weeks, when the contractor lands on the place, he will complete the project. So the contractor is not on site now? Uh, the contractor is not on site because there are legal issues. There are legal issues yes. with and the land? On the, on, the, on the contract. Okay. Yes. So which, it has stalled which, the yes, work? Yes, which we have, we have money to, to, to clear. So there's no longer a legal issue? It's, yeah, we've cleared, it, we've cleared it. The Minister of Finance has released funds for the contractor to get back to site. Okay. And I am, I am certain that within the next few weeks, the contractor will so be So we on can site. hold you to this, that yes. on the 5th of December, yes. we can come site. back here. So if, yeah. 
I see. So he, he is setting. He says yes. on, on the 5th of December he would have his rally Final there. rally there. So, so, so that's, that's this... Alaji uh, Otito Achuluo. Mm -hmm. So he's the MPP PC for Navrongo Central. And I mean, clearly he's giving his word. This is not the first time the people are hearing such assurances. Even the vice president himself, MDC, uh, sorry, MPP flag bearer, mm. was there at the chief's palace and he gave the assurances. But we put a question to the people of Navrongo as to whether they indeed believe that this project will be completed before December 7th. I mean, our Upper East Regional Correspondent, Sayala Castro, has been engaging some people on the streets of Navrongo. Let's take a listen to that as well. It's not possible. It's not possible because. Uh, like, it's possible is their mantra. But whatever they promise to do, they have not been able to deliver. So, I can assure you, I'm not a naysayer, because, like I indicated, it was good news to us that we're going to get one of the youth resource center in our constituency. But unfortunately, they've reneged on their promises. And... You cannot continue to just deceive the people. Honorable Otito, he reiterated that uh, by 5th of December, he is going to still launch his project there. Uh, his campaign there, his last campaign will be launched over there. And we don't know how visible that is. Because um, if you go there, the contractor is no more in sight. If you go, there's nothing that is happening. The place is uh, full of wheat grass. And even the, the seas, those chairs that they last came and did, they, some of them have started rotting. And some of them too have started breaking. So we don't even know uh, as to whether it is only uh, a hearsay or mouth say. Uh, it's possible that um, our Honourable can complete this project before 7th December. It's possible because if you go back to some of, some of the uh, 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 U.S., some of the uh, English countries, they only use some few days to fix something, if, if only they mean it to do. So it's possible to make this. Completing the youth resource centre will, will help the uh, Navrongo people. Yes, but promising that they will complete it before December 7th is impossible. It's, the gentleman says it is possible Yes, the, the lady days, says it is days. impossible. The lady says it is it's what? impossible. So, who's but we, 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 we wait to see how things are going to unfold. Because really, it looks like the PC has really hung his candidacy on this particular project because it appears very dear to the people. And he puts it on the line that Rightly so. I will do my final rally there, invariably telling the people that if it doesn't happen, you can use that against me. But of course, this is manifesto check. And the verdict, as we always see, is right behind you. Oh, there's the verdict. The verdict. The is... verdict is with the people of Navrongo Central on this project. Ah. Yeah. And in, in, in the next what four weeks? Next, next four weeks, yes. The gentleman says he will do it. So miracles happen in elections, don't they? Let's see how things go. You remember across Paul Stadium? Yeah. No. Anyway, but look, the clock is ticking on this one. Dennis has some strong interest there for, for obvious reasons, and for good reason for that matter. There are a number of youth centers across the country as well, so we'll keep tabs on that one as well. Dennis, thank you so much. As always, on behalf of the rest of the team, I want to say thank you for staying with us here on Ghana Tonight on your election command center. On behalf of the rest of the team, we do appreciate your company. My name is Alfred Kansi. Have a good night.